Greetings, survivors and friends. Shadow Franks back at it again with your weekly delivery of freshly baked Rust development news, including jumpsuits, elevators, and family sharing news. But first, make sure you're subscribed so I can deliver you stuff like this every week. So, today, it looks like soon you'll be able to take a new mini game for a spin down at the bandit camp. Yes, it's been a long time coming, but in the near future, not all bandits here will have two arms, if you know what I mean. And finally, you'll have a use for all those piles of spare scrap you have just lying around. Currently, slot machines can be spawned in with spawn slot machine. As of speaking these words, they're not in place anywhere at the camp, but I imagine they'll end up somewhere in the dredge. Using one works like this. First, you mount it. Insert some scrap up to a maximum of 1000, which is for your protection, trust me, and then simply press E to pull the arm. Each spin sets you back 10 scrap, and any winnings will go into a separate section. Most of the symbols on the reels are recognisable items from the game, and so you know the odds you're up against, a sign with all the winning combos will constantly be staring you in the face. Potentially, you could win big and turn 10 scrap into 6,000. Potentially. But you can also win 3 scrap for each hammer and 5 scrap for each tech trash symbol you manage to spin. Oh, and you get 100% comfort whilst using one cash back. Everything about this is, of course, subject to change, but I imagine they'll be in the main game with the next forced wipe on March the 4th. Talking of to which, we've just finished the fifth round of drops, where yours truly got his Pyrox skin. Thanks, Face Punch, and quite a few of you did too. As nice as it is having all these free skins being given out in quick succession, it seems that from now on there will be only one round of drops per month, with the next lot happening with the forced whip on March the 4th and lasting for a one week period, just like the others. No confirmation yet on who is next though. Another new item that just seems to have appeared on the staging branch this week is a Cobalt Space Center jumpsuit in an attractive rusty red colour, perfect for blending in with tall tundra grasses or next to the sphere tank. Stealth. It seems at present to be a reskin of the bone armor. Things that indicate this being that the icon for it is bone armor and it has the same stats. However, you can wear boots and gloves with it. So time will tell. In other changes, the Lunar New Year content's now been disabled with an optional patch. There was a fix to block players being able to get inside the drone marketplace, <laughs> you sneaky sneaky bunch. And another couple of fixes should see an end to being able to stack RF broadcasters and the constant spamming of the SOS frequency from the oil rigs. Yes, but pages still say slant instead of silent. We've spoken about this and you need to be patient. The team are very busy with jumpsuits and slot machines and stuff. Oh, sorry. I don't suppose you've got anything for constipation though, have you? Well, pie. Apart from that, road sign gloves are now skinnable. Finally! And oh yes, family sharing of rust is now disabled for the foreseeable future. Now this is a hot topic, so I expect to see a lot of comments about it down below. You could say there's a slight connection between family share and cheating, for instance, but I'm sure most of you use it in a completely legitimate and above board way. What do you think of this move? Let me know. In works in progress, there have been a lot more commits re-AI, especially work on junk pile scientists. There were a couple of new commits on gestures, so hopefully we'll get some kind of easy to use system for those soon, and the work cart and underground train tunnel network is sliding along nicely. And although we don't have anything to say when exactly it will be with us yet, I have managed to snaffle some pictures of the new associated elevator shafts, presumably for ingress to and egress from the system. As you can see, See, as well as a central elevator, there are also stairs and even what looks like a ramp. Plus, they go pretty deep, so I don't know how far underground this will all end up being. Just when you thought subterranean travel would be a lot safer, though, there's also mention in the commits this week of destroyable barricades on the tracks, and oh great, the work cart's having its protective glass removed. Leave me a like and subscribe so I can keep you firmly up to date. Join me on Twitch for regular streams, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, and my Steam group to stay up to date with my content. Plus, you can support me on Patreon or buy some very sexy merch over on Teespring. All the links are down below. I shall catch you all soon, but in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio. This video is powered by AWDIT's producer range of workstation PCs, available now at awdit.co.uk. Cashback.